Hey, this is Dave from houseparents.com. Today we're going to show you how to install the Nest Learning Thermostat. And there's the box. Let's open it up and see what we got. And they give you a cute little screwdriver, some screws, the plate that all the wires mount to, and then of course the Nest itself. A word of caution there, it says Turn off the power to the heating and cooling systems before installing. Right here you can see we have a, this is our old thermostat mounting and you can see there's only five wires or four wires here connected. And each of these wires mean something and depending on your particular situation there's a myriad of different ways. But what I wanted to show you is even though there's only four wires connected here, there's a host of wires still on the back that are unused and unconnected. So if you pull off an old thermostat to put a nest on there and you only see four wires, look behind it and see if you don't have extra wires that are unused on your old thermostat. If for whatever reason you don't have all the wires you need and you can find that online, you can run a new wire, which is what we did here. Uh, we are doing a new application in here, so we're changing the position of this ran the wire down the wall and into the basement. All right, so what, this is an electrical wire fish. Basically, it's a really stiff metal wire that you can feed into a hole that you do, you know, that you start here, feed it down the wall, and in our case, into the basement, which is where our unit is. So you just tape the, the new wire to the fish and you feed it down there and pull the wire down through the wall and hook it up to your, your furnace, your AC, whatever it is, your heat pump downstairs. Now that we ran our wire, we connected this to our base plate. And this is super simple. The wires come through the back of the plate, in through the center, and then each of these has a little, a small tab. And you can see this one here is depressed. It's pressed down. If I press that tab down, it pulls right out. And then the tab pops back up. So if you, once you place this wire, you press the tab down, and then feed the wire into the little hole there. And then once it's fed into the hole, let go of the tab on the, on the right here. And if it stays depressed and you pull on that wire, it's in there tight, it's, you're good. You've got good contact. If this tab pops up, you didn't get the wire all the way in. And so now each of these designations all mean something. Uh, we have run eight wire cable through here, 24 volt cable, and these are the wires that we need. And so your particular situation may be completely different than this. Nest has on their website a pro installation guide. If you look at that, you get an explanation of what all these wires mean. Once you get your wires all plugged in, it's just a matter of simply mounting the plate onto the wall. So we push the wire back in to the wall. Okay, before I feed these wires down, I'm gonna tape the ends of the extra wires so that uh, it goes in that hole more smoothly. And then now that it's taped under, we'll just feed it back down into the wall. And the beauty of the nest is when you set it up, it'll tell you if any of these wires came, were disconnected by accident, which is very helpful. Okay, once you push those wires back into the wall, press those down, they give you this little handy dandy screwdriver. And these screws are just meant to go into the drywall. There's not a stud behind here, so they go in rather easily. Now you see on the front of this, there's a little level right there. They literally built in a level to the, to the, housing, the housing plate. And so if you wanna make it dead level, just line up that little bubble and you're good to go. This is the thermostat housing itself. And it just simply plugs in right there. We set it on there. And then it's controlled by moving the silver ring on the outside. So we just put it on. And there it is, and it's mounted. And so now you just change the dials. While it's set here above the t our actual temperature, which is 72, it's now set at 78. That little green leaf tells you it's an eco setting. Once you go below the 72, it'll go blue, and that means it's in cooling mode, and it's turned your furnace or your AC on. And it tells you when it's gonna turn on. It takes a little bit of time to uh, actually turn on. You see I turn that dial, it runs through this, your set selections on the face of this, whether if you just want the fan on, eco setting on, your cooling mode on, settings.
Here's your, your Nest app. You can click on Family Room, which is where we have our set up, and it gives you the actual display that you're looking at. The temperature is set right there, and this is the, the actual temperature is there on the dial, and the center of the dial is where you have it set to. And you can control that by pressing these up and down bars as well on the app. And then they have all these uh, controls that are also on the actual thermostat itself, but you can control them on your phone. The thing I like is it gives you a history of your past usage in, in uh, bar form. And so you can just check it out and see how much it's been on on any given day. Here's uh, an example of the the temperatures that we've had at different times as we go through an experiment with it. It keeps track of these things and then it's going to find out what days you like the temperature at what amount. Uh, that's part of the learning activity. In their brochure they have a quick rundown of all the features that come with the Nest Learning thermostat. You know some remote control from a distance which is really nice. Auto scheduling, economy, energy history. Um, one of the cool things though is at the very end here it talks about airwave. An airwave is a feature that says, hey, if you're, if inside your house is lower humidity, it'll feel cooler, and so your settings, ha your system has to run less hard. And so it adjusts for that, and that's how it, it saves you. And I hope this video helps. If you got any questions, drop us a line. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got more videos coming. Thanks for viewing.